Hey folks, how you doing? Papa Joe here. You know, I uh, have told y'all several times that when I came to the Lord, I had a lot of questions. Now, I grew up being allowed to go to church. Don't reckon I've seen my parents in church more than a couple times. But, uh, didn't really pay a whole lot of mind to, for lack of better terms, terminology, customs. And that's what a lot of it is. So as I came to, a, to the Lord in my 40s, there was a lot of stuff that we did. Now, you stay, lay down and stay banded. Hold on, folks. Lay down. Lay down. He wants to go to bed with Mama. It ain't happening. He has a bed up front. Uh, so I had a bunch of questions. So I had a pretty good network of good Christian folk that I could trust. And uh, trust that they wouldn't lead me astray is what I'm saying when I say I trust. But uh, last night a friend of mine called. Like myself, he's a truck driver. Like myself, he came to the Lord kind of late in the years. He had been around like me. So we've had some pretty interesting conversations. We believe a lot basically the same. But uh, there's times that you just want to hear someone else say it. It don't say, sound quite right coming out of your mouth. You want to hear someone else say it. Or you just need that word of encouragement. You know? Sometimes you need the devil's advocate. And I know that ain't something you used to hear in a sermon, is it? But uh, he's having health issues. Some pretty serious ones. And he's just finding out about them, and it's blowing his mind. It's going to change his world. There's a chance he won't make it to it all. And he was a little bit down and out, discouraged. And I had to remind him, uh, well, you are a Christian man. Well, sure. You're a believer, yeah. Have you forgotten who the great physician is? And, well, you got a point. Because all he was talking about was medical terms and doctors. We discussed it a little bit and I asked him I said brother did I ever give you my spill on amen he said no I don't think you have I said well do you know what amen means and it's just one of them things that you really don't think about it you just end the prayer with amen We've been doing it uh, since as long as we've known anything about praying. So, uh, both her dogs are getting up over here. So I told him, I said, back in the beginning, I had some issues. And I wanted to know. And one of them was... Why do we say amen at the end of a prayer? And some simple questions like that can catch some folks flat-footed. You'd really be surprised how many don't know. I mean, do you know? Honestly, do you know? So through the course of me going through a network of folks, I had a pretty good network of folks that I trusted would not lead me astray and would not sugarcoat I 
I got asked them. And what it comes down to me, my definition, is that when we pray, we're asking for something. Whether it's for ourselves, someone else, or for the Lord Himself. And I hope you do just say some prayers once in a while for God giving Him that voice. But uh, we call asking. And uh, after you've called upon the Lord and asked for whatever, you say, Amen. Amen means that you have asked, you now expect, and you believe. So whatever you ask for, you expect the Lord to make it come about in His way, in His time, and you believe that He will. It's pretty simple. How you tie that in with him being called the great amen is that to me he knows that we are asking we're expecting and we're believing well, there's a lot of stuff in modern day especially modern day American Christianity that you really should raise an eyebrow and ask, why are we doing this? And find out for yourself. We as American Christians, we need to quit just following protocol. The Bible is not protocol. Your walk with Jesus is not protocol. We all have a little bit of different understanding of the Bible. We all have a different walk with Jesus. So you need to break free of the mundane, routine stuff. Really start working on yours. On your walk. And remember, ask, expect, and believe get that true personal relationship goal with Jesus Christ and you're praying right which means that you understand basically your amen you'd be surprised that's it a little hillbilly lesson y'all remember God loves you and so do I you have a blessed evening good night